Did that look familiar to you? Well, if so, then you are absolutely not alone. A lot of people have problems converting recipes from things like cups into grams and vice versa. So today I decided to share a few tips and tricks on how to achieve this very effortlessly. And I'm going to provide you with a list of conversions as well as tips on how to measure ingredients properly. And finally, I wanted to discuss very, very quickly the pros and cons for each measuring system. So let's get started.
about the pros and cons. Um, I myself tend to go back and forth between using my cups and using a scale and you see this in some of my videos. It really depends on um, what I'm doing. For example, if um, I'm making a caramel sauce, I tend to be very precise, so I like to use a scale for such a thing. So if consistency is important to you and you want to achieve a perfect cake or cookie every single time, then I suggest that you use a scale and measure things in grams so that you get the exact same amount per batch. But um, if you're looking for a rough estimate of what goes in a recipe, for example, a chocolate chip cookie, where you roughly want two cups of chocolate chips, but if there are a little bit more, nobody will mind, um, then definitely use cups. Using measuring cups is a very visual way of measuring ingredients. This is perfect for getting kids involved into baking because they love just how interactive it all is. Cups are more fun, I have to say that. So I personally love using both. Uh, professionals prefer obviously the scale because of the preciseness and consistency that you achieve per recipe. But kids and people that are getting into baking certainly like using cups. So it's really up to you and what you're trying to achieve. So that's it for me today. I hope you found this useful and if you like this video then click on that like button below and don't forget to subscribe so that you get all the content that I'm sharing every week and I'll see you next week with a new recipe. Ciao!